Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about why there's no more powerful wizards anymore. The Harry Potter story is full of lore. I mean, I've made a living from it with this YouTube channel, and lots of other channels have too. It's great that we can learn more about the characters and their backgrounds just by a quick search or through a YouTube video or a channel. Anyway, what we do see throughout the Harry Potter books and movies is that it pays attention to the past. Like events of the past and great wizards of the past, there's nothing really exceptional today in relation to amazing wizards or even young upcoming prospects. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at the great wizards of the past and try to understand why there's none today, and what happened in terms of upcoming individuals possibly lacking of passion for improving the level of magic in today's times. There's so many powerful wizards and witches from the past. Take the four founders of Hogwarts for example, each of them used and manipulated magic to improve upon the things they believed would be beneficial for society and also on a personal level. Helga Hufflepuff loved food because it brought people together. She created many food charms that are still used in Hogwarts to this day and also in many households. Rowena Ravenclaw valued wisdom, perception and intelligence amongst anything and charmed her diadem to allow the wearer to make calm collected decisions on any matter that needed such wisdom. Godric Gryffindor was an incredible, fantastic duelist skilled with a wand and also a sword. He valued the protection and safe education of all magical people no matter their background. He was a real leader of his time and people looked to his greatness for guidance. Even Salazar Slytherin contributed one of the greatest creations of the time when he built the Chamber of Secrets, hatched a basilisk, constructed a locket of significance and made it his mission to ensure that anyone he taught would be of an acceptable blood status. None of those things would be considered good but they were fantastic feats of magic and a view on things that he believed would be beneficial. If these wizards being individually great wasn't convincing enough, then they all banded together to build the Hogwarts castle, establish a teaching school and leave behind a legacy that still commands the ultimate respect over 1000 years later. These people changed the world of magic, they set the boundaries and done something that had never been seen. So let's go further back than that. What about a man who actually created the first Horcrux, a man who achieved immortality? Herpo the Fell was so dedicated to magic that he was able to prevent human death. Okay, the means of how he achieved it was not good, as it involved murder in addition to a ritual that J.K. Rowling wouldn't reveal, but in saying that, Herpo was still able to manipulate magic to such an incredible level that he could prevent death, as I said. Immortality, it's just out of this world. Anyway, let's go forward in time to a man you'll know as Nicholas Flamel, better known as the creator of the Philosopher's Stone. Obsessed with alchemy and what it could bring to the table, Flamel's Philosopher's Stone was famous for two reasons. The elixir of life which slowed down the aging process to roughly a tenth the speed of natural aging. The stone also allowed him to turn any metal to pure gold, which of course made him very wealthy. This is a more unique example of a powerful wizard because Nicholas Flamel created something that may have required a wand initially, but the object created then didn't require any additional magic, which is why I really like that example. So let's go a little forward in time again, where we have two of the greatest wizards to ever grace the planet in Albus Dumbledore and Gellert Grindelwald. Albus always had a craving for power and greatness from a very young age. He was so far ahead of his class in Hogwarts in terms of ability that he was quickly hailed as the greatest student Hogwarts had ever seen, which says a lot after 900 years of students. Gela Grindelwald attended Durmstrang, but was quickly expelled for his dark experiments, pushing too far past the line of what was deemed acceptable at the school, despite the school permitting the use and teaching of dark magic. Grindelwald was also a seer. He could see the atrocities that World War II would bring at the hands of muggles. He wielded the Elder Wand and was at one point unrivaled in terms of the power he achieved. His undoing was actually through his old 
old friend Dumbledore who defeated him in an epic duel in 1945. Dumbledore acquired the Elder Wand after his victory and remained at Hogwarts for the remainder of his life. Albus Dumbledore is hailed for his numerous inventions like the Deluminator, multiple uses for Dragon's Blood and several extremely powerful spells like Firestorm, which he used in the Half-Blood Prince. He is arguably the greatest wizard of all time due to his sheer dedication to magic and to the students of Hogwarts. Then of course we have Lord Voldemort, the darkest wizard to ever walk the earth. Although he's remembered for the harm and devastation he caused, if there's anyone that took magic to another level, if there's anyone who pushed the boundaries of magical limitation straight through the barrier, Lord Voldemort takes the trophy, he takes the prize, he takes the gold medal. This man successfully created seven horcruxes without knowing what the repercussions would be. He created several dangerous and dark spells that inflicted horrific effects on the victims. His curse on the Gaunt family ring, which was also the resurrection stone, literally sentenced Dumbledore to a slow death with Severus Snape containing the curse to his hand. Or how about the emerald potion he created to protect his locket? The potion that caused the drinker unbearable abdominal pain while forcing them to relive their worst memories. Voldemort even discovered the ability to fly without the need for a broom, something no wizard before him had ever done. So all of these great and powerful wizards made their mark on society across the centuries but there's really been nothing since Voldemort and bear in mind that although he died in 1998, he was born in the 20s and had already achieved a high level of power by the time he left Hogwarts. Honestly, there hasn't really been anyone. Okay, Hermione Granger for example, she was powerful, but she was too far logical to even contemplate going after real power. She thought well on the inside of the box instead of looking for something new outside of it. Harry Potter didn't really set the world on fire. I know he's the boy who lived and he's the main protagonist in the books and he defeated Voldemort, but that was it afterwards. He never tried to become a really powerful, a really great wizard. He became an Auror and that's what he wanted to do. He had a lifetime of drama and yeah, he just, he wanted a quiet life. There just doesn't seem to be a passion for these young and upcoming wizards and witches to try to use magic to make a change. What do you guys think? Why is there no powerful wizards anymore? What's going on? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and remember if you don't hit the like button on this video then you are nothing but a nargle. See you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I truly truly appreciate your support everyone notifications of uploads are more important than ever so please if you haven't already turn those notifications on to make sure you're notified the moment my video goes live making videos is what I love to do it's my dream and my passion however it does cost time and money to produce this content so if you have a dollar to spare to support me on patreon in exchange for some exclusive unseen content then you can click the patreon link below or at the end of this video Please only support me if you can afford it. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at InstaDNJ and on Twitter at PotterFolklore. Check out my other videos appearing on screen and please make sure, most importantly, to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again everyone and please have a great day.